conditions aren't quite optimal, but it's certainly uh, diveable. We've been uh, struggling with five to seven. Uh, some good rollers and a little bit of chop, but uh, really a great team here. So we're developing a collaboration with Harbor Branch Oceanographic, and we're excited about that relationship. Uh, we just passed them. They had a successful dive, gathered some samples, and now we're moving to a second location to gather uh, additional samples, get some uh, imagery. We'll do a video transect and also identify what kind of algae uh, or other kind of uh, uh, interesting features we find along the reef head. What our research has shown uh, over the years is that nutrient concentrations are elevated in the coastal waters of Broward County and Palm Beach County, especially around the, uh, the sewage outfalls. So there are five remaining ocean outfalls that discharge large uh, quantities of partially treated sewage effluent directly into the water column over these coral reef communities. We had a great collaboration this week with the Global Underwater Explorers. Uh, we began uh, the dive ops in Palm Beach County uh, on a reef we've been monitoring for many years now, for which we have a baseline already going back to 1990 to see how this reef is changing today. We've been monitoring the, uh, the reefs around this ferry boat, and uh, in 1991 we saw these massive uh, codium green algae blooms develop. Following those blooms, we saw other species of green algae come in in kind of a, a succession of algal blooms in response to um, nutrients from wastewater and, and other sources as well. Now our past studies have shown that concentrations, for example, of ammonium and phosphorus in the water are much higher than background levels, not just around these outfalls, but even at, at distances away from the outfalls, uh, pointing to these as, as very significant point sources of nutrient enrichment, fueling these uh, algae blooms that we're seeing on the coral reefs. Uh, we have further information from stable nitrogen isotope analysis, both of the wastewater effluent itself and the algae blooms on the reefs that, that shows a direct linkage. They match up like a fingerprint. The public um, at this point I, I think are largely unaware that these outfalls even exist. I think they all are expecting that our state government is taking care of, of our surface waters and uh, has, has ended all these major point source um, wastewater discharges. So it's great to be working with the Global Underwater Explorers. Uh, they gave us great diving assistance to give us uh, extended bottom time for sampling algae that we're going to analyze for stable nitrogen isotopes, again to uh, identify the source of nitrogen that's fueling those algal blooms.